Okay, so we're inside where I've got my extra side skirt here. I've pulled out the splitter that goes on there, and uh, this is all the equipment that I will be using, so I'm going to go ahead and test fit it up real quick, and uh, then I'm going to use some double-sided wood clamps to go ahead and hold down the plastic and the splitter to each other while I mark it and then drill out the holes for these M6 screws. And I believe I'm probably gonna use something like this, which is an M6 by 20 with locking washers, regular washers, and flanged nuts. So again, that's what I'm using to secure it to the side skirt. Okay, so I've taken this black duct tape and I have put rolls of it along the top side where the mounting surface is against this side skirt. I've got my side skirt just flipped over here and supported up on a couple of, you know, small ottomans. You can use whatever you've got. I'm sure, you know, probably do this outside as well and just put it on, you know, some bushes or I don't know boxes, uh, small children, whatever. But uh, I've put it on there. Then that way I can put some clamps on the other side and uh, lock it in place while I drill some holes for those screws. And uh, basically got it all positioned how I wanted it from looking at the other side, obviously. And then I used some of these clamps to just go ahead and forcefully hold it in place. Uh, they got rubber ends on them. They're actually made for wood. So they work out pretty well not to mark up the body at all. But I've got one of those at each side with tape in between. And I've got it lined up how I wanted it. Which, if I flip it over, you can see you know, that it's all lined up along the front there. Including with the splash guard. So um, now what I've done is just basically flipped it up so that that way from this side I can go ahead and drill through it in several spots and then go ahead and touch it, attach it with the uh, nuts and bolts that I've got up here. So uh, that's the current step. Um, I'm going to drill those holes and then uh, I'll put the nuts and bolts in, take it out, flip it around, take a look at it, see how it looks. Um, if it's got any massive gaps or anything that I really don't like the look of, um, I will possibly go ahead and add in the 3M tape to fill in gaps if it's got it. Um, I'm not 100% sure yet. It looks like it'll be pretty secure with the nuts and bolts. And I'm about to drill some holes to put through some bolts. Alright, so I went ahead and um, ran the bolts along the edge there, like I said. You know, spaced apart just every little bit and then that way it has you know enough to actually hold real tight to the body um, I did put one closer up here because what I decided to do is with this splash guard in place um, this lip had a um, kind of a curve and an upturn right here and it was just too much to put against the splash guard so I went ahead and cut a section of it out right there and then bolted it down so that way it closed the gap and uh, now from the other side it sits nice and flush I do still need to bolt it down completely to where it's nice and tight, but you can see that it pretty much fits you know, across there pretty well. Alright y'all, so I'm out here with the car. I've got uh, my Z jacked up and supported on some jack stands. Uh, because of how these side skirts come off, um, it actually runs up to here and that plastic under there. So you don't want to put your jack stand here. You got to put it behind this pinch weld right here. So jack it up, stick it behind that on uh, both spots. And that way you'll have access to go ahead and pull it off. Um, you need to take out the screws up front right here. And then there's also additional screws on this back side right here. Pull this forward, do it gently, and with a long neck screwdriver, um, you should be able to reach in there and get that, and then it's just a matter of popping the clips off along the way. Um, so hopefully I can do this without breaking any. Now on this one here, previous owner had the mud guard on here, 
this is what's left of it. I'm not sure what he hit, but it dented it in real good right there. And uh, in the process, ripped off the uh, rest of the mud guard, or rock guard, splash guard, whatever you want to call it. So, off with the old, and then we will go on with the new. I did pick up a brand new set of these um, rock guards painted set from uh, Concept Z and um, they were you know the best and the easiest way to go so I will have those on and uh, should look pretty cool once I'm done hopefully we'll see okay so um, when you first take the screws out right here and you pull it back your first um, connector is going to be right there if I pull this back you can see it right there um, and what I did to get to that one is I actually used this guy and went in that way I could get it at an angle and pop it and then that way I could get uh, around this little bend right here in this side skirt because with that it's hard to get something straight and flat up in there but with that now you can pull it back and see further up in there so what I'm gonna do basically is just guide myself along um, I can see the next one in there uh, you can see that past my fingers but uh, there is one in there I gotta get that one next get those top ones loose and then the bottom ones across there of course there are still all the bolts across the bottom that I gotta take out but I kinda wanted to see how this was gonna work first so now I know Okay, so across the bottom here, I've got to take out this one. Um, I do have another bolt here to take out. It uh, doesn't show anything here. There's a bolt right here. You've got another one right here. Another one right here, right there, and then in the very back. So uh, those are, let me just confirm here. Those are all 10 millimeter. Okay, so the, the last bolt is hidden behind this section, so not here, but down in there where I didn't look. Okay, so with all the uh, bolts taken out of the bottom now, um, you can see that it's much, much looser. And uh, now I should be able to uh, go ahead and get in there, pop open this extra one. I need to open the door, and then that way I can pop it off completely and uh, get this out of here. There's the second one popped off, so it's roughly this area. And then as you move up, the next thing I found was the tape I had mentioned. Uh, it looks like most of it failed, but you can see some of it sticking right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and use one of my plastic tools real quick to break that and then uh, pull that away from there. Okay, so after I pulled the tape off there, which again, it was only stuck down by this tiny little bit. Yours may be a longer piece like that. I can feel it all the way in here from here to like here. So it's a pretty long piece. It just failed. Uh, you may have more trouble getting that off. But um, right after that, I went to go ahead and give it just a nice little tug um, from the bottom and the back at the same time so you don't bend it and crease the skirt. Uh, but that pull also led to this next one popping off, which is a different style. Um, and the next one popping out as well. Okay, so once you get them all off up to here, there's another one that's clear up front right there. You can see uh, that one is pretty difficult to get to because if you bend it out too far this way, you're just going to break it. So you kind of got to get in there with the long screwdriver, uh, which is what I use that guy for, um, to get in there and kind of pry it away. And as it pries away, it pops. Um, unfortunately, on the front bracket, I wasn't so lucky. There is still one right here that's attached, and this one is broken. I kind of had a feeling it would be uh, because of the damage that was up here where it got hit. Um, I don't know what the dude ran over, but like I said, when it ripped off the mud flap and bent that the way it did, I kind of figured it would be broken. So um, thankfully I'm not putting this one back on, but that one goes right here. That's where the last one is, and then it just comes straight away. Um, I put down this U-Haul uh, blanket don't pay attention to that um, 
and uh, that way once it came off it would at least fall onto something and not just the ground and scratch itself up so I mean scratch itself up more all right upon closer inspection thankfully I did not actually break that clip um, it's got some splits in it and uh, I'm guessing these two little pieces right here press in right there and right there press down to pull it out um, but what I did was I was able to just push it back in there and uh, with those splits on it I mean it looks just like the others do so um, if you have one that starts to come out as long as it doesn't break into pieces you should be able to push it right back up in there and uh, it should be good so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and take a moment to clean this section off real quick and that way it's not all nasty underneath when I put the new one on Okay, so now I've got it all clean, and I won't be laying it down on top of a bunch of grime. So it is all ready to go. I'm just going to let it finish drying. For the moment, I have um, went ahead and taken off my rock guard, which is uh, right there. Um, that's got to be Sharpie. There's no way it's scratched already. But I did use a Sharpie. Yep, there he goes. I did use a Sharpie to mark off the inside of my um, side skirt that I cut to fit around the uh, rock guard. So I've gone ahead and taken that off for the moment because two of those screws go into here and then one goes in from the bottom down here, um, right, you know, to secure it. So, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and lift it up there and just basically line up these different pieces along there once I line up the first two and kind of get one pushed in then I should be able to get the the rest lined up no problem and push them in uh, where they go along that path so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see if I can do that and uh, if I can I'll record it along the way should be able to just go ahead and clip my wood clamp on there and boom door stopper opener holder stopper finger crusher okay I got that uh, old glue spot cleaned completely off there with the double-sided that they previously used uh, no residue or anything and then I went and prepped it uh, just cleaned it obviously real well dried it off and then uh, cleaned it with some rubbing alcohol to get it nice and prepped for the double-sided tapes okay so I'm gonna get the tape started because of course while I'm trying to record it it's fighting me all right got that peeled off now what I'm going to do is go ahead and grab it from the bottom and support it and uh, basically line it up so that way I can get all those lined up across there and then just gently push in above where each of the pins is are. Yeah, that. Alright, so I just went ahead and pushed in my first one right about here. Uh, there's another one right here. Push that one down. Uh, make sure that you're piece in the back is opened up to go around that got one right there and right there push those down and then oh, try and limbo around my door transition to the front up here and I need to make sure that this is pulled around this Alright, so it sounds like that one doesn't really want to grab. Pull that one out and swap it for another one real quick. Alright, and then now that I've got that pressed up in there, I'm just going to go ahead and fit this back up in here and then screw it down in front and back. Um, yes, I did fuck up this side skirt splitter when I originally cut it. I was uh, not paying attention because it was late and I cut it on the wrong side of this groove, this dip. I should have cut it far enough over to where that stayed, but I didn't, so... I tried to fix it. Yes, it looks kind of crappy, but uh, this was my experiment to see if I could get it to fit with a side skirt. And I think it does really well. Um, once it's all bolted on there, you'll see it a little bit better. But um, I do need to end up buying a replacement one now, so that way I can fix that. Because now I have a better idea of how to do it. Um, I have not done the passenger side yet, but I'm hoping when I do, it looks better than that. So, um, other than that, though, almost there. Okay, when I first pressed it on there, it uh, fit a little weird, and that's because this uh, plastic piece right here was getting stuck on this lip where it's kind of 
got this uh, rough edge and it's been bent up a little bit from hitting stuff or running over things so make sure that when you get under here you move this part over it because mine was like this stuck up on it so tuck it up under there so that way you can put your screws in place easily uh, but make sure that it's tucked up all the way across and you should be good make sure you remember to uh, press down the tape right here and apply some pressure to it for a little bit that way it'll stick down nice and well uh, you don't want that lip sticking out right there because it may or may not protrude kind of away and create an unsightly gap in the body line right there so even though it's behind the door you want to make sure that you're covered so just press that guy down uh, once it's pressed down nice and good should be fine um, thankfully where that's at it really shouldn't even get wet um, hopefully but just in case uh, make sure you give yourself you know a day or so with hopefully a sunny forecast and then that way it has time to properly adhere um, and if you took the proper steps in cleaning and prepping it you should not have an issue at all with this coming off um, and in fact it might be a fight for you if you ever have to take your side skirt back off so uh, but that's uh, one part you need to make sure that you pay attention to press that down and then once I put the screws back in here that'll line up and uh, this side will be ready to have the bolts put back underneath and we'll be done all right so with that part pressed down now I can go ahead and uh, now I can go ahead and remove this out of there and let my door close all right so this piece is supposed to be behind this so that's done got that back on there it's bolted on all the way up to the front across there everything looks good lines up yeah so there we go Ugh. Now I can go ahead and stick my wheels back on, let it down, and uh, attack the passenger side.